All right, we, go. we got game of the week. Uh, Glamorgan Vale Great Tusks versus the Tottenham Hoot Hoots. I am the coach of the St. Louis Gallows, a.k.a. Aiden, and I'm here with Orange, the coach of the Frederick Cuffkeys. Say hello. No. You know what? Fair enough. All right. So, looking at this matchup, what are you what are you what are you thinking so far based off of uh, initial uh, team I think preview? someone's going to set screens and then someone might set spikes. I don't know. Might you turn out? Depends on a couple things. I know from my mocks, there's a screen, that is a gunshot, gunshot the entire time. <laughs> and you can go for another one of these if you'd like. Um, me personally, I really like spikes in this game. Spikes is definitely very good. I uh, I believe that his switch here is just go treads on this. I don't think he gunk shots again from Mox. I think if you're water absorbed quad sire, that's actually a great switch into this because you should be for the Rotom. It definitely is. Uh, it should be water absorbed. That's what I mocked with. Well, it could also be on a way because that makes perfect sense into that. This is also true. Combo. But then Grin can go. A lot crazier into that clod. I think it almost has to be water absorbed, not only for Rotom but for Grin as well. Uh, you have you have check. You so you can go into the latch. Like the latch is free here. True. That low kick is doing much to you behind a reflect. I believe this Grenade is also slam looks really banding. free into this team. I mean, like body slam if you fish for para, like that's great. Of course, it would be me to default to fishing for yellow magic, but you know, that happens. Yeah. That's oh. okay. Taking a while to think about what we're gonna do here. I think we're gonna yep. get a lot of that. There's the treads. The Rilla Boom. Possible we see an aggressive ice spinner, but also possible we see a more defensive switch into the Rillaboom or into the G, I should say, into the G King, probably, or even the Como, one of the graphics. It is ice spinner. We do see an aggressive ice terrain. spinner. How much is this Knock going to off. do? Get rid of the Get chopple. Get rid of the chopple berry. That was probably for a drain punch or superpower from the Rillaboom. Volt this switch. is a bolt switch. I like this play a lot. You can go out into your Slow King or your Como, depending on what you want to see. Nice U-turn there from Trainer Black as well. Probably going to see the Polk come in aggressively here. Try to scan this out. Or the Terra Fairy Jolteon if you want to bust that out now. Keeping in mind that Jolteon does get access to Alluring Voice, but the Komo Shoot. could be soundproof. So that's something that could be really cool. For sure, definitely a lot of things that can happen here. You can also go the Quad Sire if you feel this Gomo doesn't carry the taunt or is more defensive. Most likely Trainer Block is doing calcs right now before figuring out exactly what his response is to this. You can go hard pull and threaten this thing out. I think it's worth it. And here we go. Also, keeping in mind the Draco Meteor, well, it doesn't look quite as free. I think you still use it in here if you're the Dragapult. If where you have it, you is... can also make the Wisp play. Where is Ferb? There's Phineas, where is Ferb? That's what I want to know. Ferb might be the Snorlax. I don't know. Since it's taller. It could also be Clodzire. Clodzire is is that guy. I don't know, but I'm really thinking this is a Will O Wisp here from Trainer Black. I don't think there's any other play for you to make. That's if you don't have the U turn, which I would totally be clicking here otherwise. Because you have two great switch ins to Draco Meteor. Yeah, I definitely don't think this is a Draco. I don't even think. I mean, it could be a Shadow Ball, but I know that Kumfei, even with Choice Specs, um, doesn't take... It takes probably about 50, I want to say, from a Choice Specs pull. Uh, but then it gets Triage, and it could Draining Kiss, and yeah. Yeah, but that won't kill the Dragon Ball, so it's important It won't that kill, but up. it'll sustain. Maybe force it to switch. It's also worth noting that Kumbay does get access to Psy Shock, so it can dent this hard thing. Oh, he's gonna go hard Claude missed the scale and he's shot. He's going to go for scale shot and miss. This is how Bonberry kill Como. It could be possible here. Imagine it was Blunder Policy. <laughs> I think that I think that this is the craziest play of all time that was just made. I honestly think this is probably Haban by the way that just stayed in. 
gonna go hard into the gram. Okay, this is fine. Yep, this is fine. My question is: Is with a light screen up, does a sludge wave kill from Glow King? Does not. I don't think it needs to. Brick break to break oh, the screens. The brick break to break the screens. That is some great prep right there. Knew it. I knew it was there. Or I should say some interesting prep. We don't know if it's great just yet, but we're getting there. Definitely, definitely an inventive attack for sure. I like that. Wondering if this also carries the foul play. If we actually have a full on physical sloking here, or if the brick break is purely here to break the screens. Man, I, I think I wish it were foul play, but I'm, I do not believe it is. I remember when I was mocking Iron foul play on the slow king, but there's the future site. So possible here, you're able to pair up the future site with your strong fighting type in Como O here. It is plenty possible. Keep in mind, the lower this group style goes as well, the more free Dark Pulse looks into this entire team, or should I say, whatever dark move that Greninja has. If it even has a dark move. If it even has a dark move. Probably does, but we may never know. I haven't seen it in Mox, but I definitely think it, it very well could be. I'm just waiting to see this for a giraffe sweep. That's all I'm looking for. It is definitely in the cards if this if this Grim Snarl goes down. In we the go pult. hard to the Dragapult to call the Brick Break. Okay. That is a play we can make. I also think this is a very free Chili Receptor from the Slow King, if that's what it wants to go for here. However, by the way this is being played and the attacks, it's possible as well that this could be uh, Sub Assault Vested. Assault Vested. Oh, yeah. You know, go back to Gen 8. Um, keeping in mind, there is a future side up in the air as well, so you may have to double back to Grimstone in order to prevent damage on this Dragapult. This is true. Because no light so screen. So it is possible here that the Sludge Bomb could come off from this slow kick. Maybe get a poison or something Get a poison, else. break a substitute, get a lot of chip, and then be able to pivot out as necessary. I don't even know if it would break a sub. It has a chance, for sure. I think it definitely breaks a sub. This is a glow king. There ain't no way. There's the darts. We see darts. We see the sludge wave sludge trying wave. to call the Grimstar to come in, but it will now take a massive hit. I do not think this was the play by Tottenham letting the Dragapult take this much damage. I also don't think he had much of a switching into Future Side plus Sludge Wave, so I think this is just good prep right here. This is also very true. It's possible as well. This pulled his boots and it can come in later. But now you're going to have to be much more careful when it gets in, or how you get it in, I should say. Definitely. For now, it'll, it'll even die to something like a Sludge Wave from here. You also have to keep in mind that King Doza may have to switch into a Shadow Ball right here. I don't actually know if the Pult even, first of all, has Shadow Ball. But secondly, I don't exactly know off the top of my head what that damage is. If that's Dragon Fang, if that's not boosting item, possible. And if I had to guess, it's probably Boots. But, you know, can't make too many assumptions this early on. We're only 11 turns into the game. But so far, this Slow King has, has basically told me it's salt vested. I can I can feel it. It most definitely is. I think you would have clicked chiller reception by now, but this is definitely a situation for sure. Keeping in mind if the Polk goes down, a lot of the offensive pressure starts to disappear. Claw the psychic, psychic noise, noise comes out. That is going to be big, 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 big for preventing recovery, whether black sludge or uh Clicking recover itself. I don't even know if the Claw Sire can actually kill the Slow King from here. Keeping in mind that Tottenham has a well track record of running Earth power over the Earthquake for various situations. And that will do even less to the Slow King. So it is possible the Slow King could actually beat a 1v1 from here. This, uh, I know I ran Curse, uh, Claude's Iron Mox, and there were very certain situations where this was able to sweep. Uh, with Toxic, Curse, Earthquake, and Recover. Um, I'm not sure that's what's going to happen here. There's the There's Earthquake. There's the Earthquake. We're going to see it. The heal block has ended. Um, I don't actually think behind a Reflect, this Goma O will be able to do much. It is possible we see a Taunt. 
or possibly rocks go up, but I think if this is scale shot, it's likely to not be defensive. I don't know what an offensive combo is going to do here besides click taunt. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be interesting to see what happens. Maybe this is mixed or it also carries the brick break. Maybe it is here to prevent a recover. Because if this quad sire takes too much damage, this Kumpei can come in and click the Psy Shock. So if this is Taunt, it needs to click it here to keep this thing low. Keeping in mind too, if the if the Slow King and the Como get too low, the Rillaboom starts looking a little more scary. Couldn't Como be Earthquake as well? Como actually shouldn't be Earthquake, it should be, I think it's high horsepower or oh, yeah. whatever the move is for grassy terrain. I don't actually like the Earthquake from the Quad Sire here because Back of the Grassy Terrain. Back into Slow King. It's anti-synergy. And the Grim uh, but this is... This is a free Sludge Wave onto something. Or Future Sight or something. You can do whatever you want here. As long as things are set up properly, you're in a good spot. Keeping in mind, there is a Snorlax in the back as well. And I'm starting to believe that there isn't any way to immediately pressure a Cursed Snorlax. And I'm just asking you all to keep that in mind here as we... We look for uh, ways that Trainer Block can win the game from here. So there's the there's light screen, screen and the brick break the brick goes back again. up. We're going to be forcing the Grimstar to pick between screens here and then it will die. Keeping in mind if it dies, setup opportunities will be a lot harder because the bulk won't be there. I do like this is actually screens Grimstarl this week, but it just unfortunately doesn't work because of the amount of prep that King Dozo did for this matchup. Yes, what it's doing is it's forcing this Grimstar to come in and nothing is happening while these screens are up. Offense is not being put up. The screens are up, but you've already seen the Pulse has tried to do some sort of lasting damage. It's already almost dead. Grassy this terrain, comes in. So this is likely a knockoff here from the Rillaboom, but you don't want to stay in here and trade your Rillaboom for a Sludge Wave. It's just not a good idea. Yeah, the opponent might Sludge be trying to bait kill. Sludge Wave here, but there's no point in doing that because the Future Sight's in the air. So even if you were to switch out into Grimstar, you're going to die with Sludge Wave. Or if you go into Quad Sight, you are about to take a heck of a lot from I th the Future Sight. I definitely think something has to either get sacked or take a hit and risk getting poisoned, whether it be the Snorlax It's when we have something. to ask our if Rillaboom going down is worth it for getting rid of the Soul Vest, it's, it's not Rocky a Soul Vest that I'm just wrong. And it's Rocky Helmet. We sludge Wave. See the Sludge Wave come off. The Future Sight is going to come out in a few turns here. We can definitely put on a, couple, a bit of pressure as well with the Psychic Noise. Or we could even take it up one notch here and click the Sludge Wave. Yep, but we are going to get the read right. Noise. The psychic Noise is out and the, curse, the curse is happening. But this future is a big sight. misplay as the future side is Ooh. in the air, and we guaranteed outspeed this quad sire. This quad sire is now permanently at four percent with heal block. We I, can preserve this, but what are you going to be able to recover on? I almost wonder if Tottenham either forgot about the future sight, or, or whether he thought that King Dozo was going to do another sludge wave to predict maybe a Grim Snarl switch or something. This is such an important Pokemon for Trainer Black. And if this goes down, look at that Comfey. Comfey goes absolutely crazy. That Comfey goes crazy and the Quad Sire dies. Oh no. This is not looking good for Tottenham right here. The Grimstar is tremendously low. He's gotta set up screens. All right, I it's think the Snorlax is the way out. It's essentially three and two sacks. This Snorlax is the way out. I think there's still a Kamo, there's still an Iron Treads, and there's still a Fur Giraffe. I don't think the Kamo is doing too much if a screen is up and the Snorlax goes for Curse. It's a matter of what happens next. Does King Dozo have something for the Curse Lax in the back? Probably not. But then again, there's this Trainer Black. It may be something that isn't quite so standard. I did play a certain Lax set in Mox, and I'm wondering if this is it. I don't think it will be. And I definitely don't think the play to click it is right here. All I'm gonna say, King Dozo, is you better go hard, Como-o. 
Or if that Comfey is Trick Scarf, now is your time to use it. Could Psychic Noise too, potentially. You can Psychic Noise, but I do not think that is what you need to to it. I ran a Resto Chesto set in box, and this is. This could be it, potentially. I don't think we're going to see Resto Chesto. I want you to look, because he's going to click the move. Oh sure enough, he brought Lord. it. I hope this combo can kill right here, because if not, we are all in trouble. Also, keep in mind the grassy terrain is up for an extended period of time. That is grassy. That is terrain extender. My cock says that CC doesn't kill. The roll will barely miss out, but it all depends on what set these mons are. How much are you willing to sacrifice? The Como will probably trade for a lot of damage on the Snorlax. I think that's what has to happen. But something else needs to immediately come into revenge it. So you are trading something here. But does King Dozo have something that's able to kill it after Como hits it with a large move or with a big hit? I don't think this Lax was, was good. I think Curse was better here, but... For sure. That's hindsight. Oh, yeah. I don't think we're going to be getting much of a... We're going to get one big doink off. I think it's just one big doink, not big doinks, bro. <laughs> and, and he switches the bolt. He switches. Okay, so this is... That is a very risky switch right there. Uh, I'm not really sure I, I agree with that because now we have information of what the Lax is. It also doesn't have an item. So he now knows what he needs to preserve and what he needs to do. He chickened out of it. He chickened out of it. Oh my lord. Question is now if King Dozo is going to give him another setup opportunity. I don't think so. We have I so much information. This is King Dozo's game to win and Trainer Black's game to lose at the moment. Out comes the Glow King. It looks like this is going to be the check to the Dragapult. Now, the Dragapult is getting a little bit of recovery back, so it's important that every time that King Dozer doesn't attack this Pult, it is getting recovery. And this Rillaboom is alive, so you can keep yourself out of range of Sludge Wave, or potentially out of Psychic Noise once you're healthy enough. So if this is Dragon Dance Dragapult, your opportunities might, you know, make themselves clear. But keeping in mind, we have Triage on the Kung Faith that can come in and revenge it, so you need to be out of range of Draining Kiss as well. You can't be taking random hits now. I definitely think it's either a Sludge Wave or a Psychic Noise. Most likely Sludge Wave, because nothing wants to switch into that. I and think it it's probably going anything. to be a Psychic Noise here. I think you respect the pulse in front of you for the time being. Keeping in mind as well, that is a Terra Jolteon, and I do believe that could be Calm Mind. So it's important that we note Ooh, that. Okay, the Phantom, Phantom Force. Force is off. I don't know if I agree with this because you can go hard to the Ferrugera. No. And there's the immunity. So now what happens? It also misses out on a turn of, um, I believe, of grassy terrain, terrain recovery. Terrain healing. Yeah. All right, keeping in mind, there is no switch in right now to the, no safe switch in, I should say, to this Ferrugerath. Maybe the Snorlax can come in and do it, but. This Ferrugerath. If, if it wants a setup opportunity. This Ferrugerath is about to curse. If this Ferrugerath curses right now, we are in for a game, that is for sure. This Ferrugerath is about to curse. This Ferrugerath is about to curse. Maybe, or it crunches. I mean, it can do either or, but it'd be a lot I cooler. Think if it would be funnier curse. if it went for curse. It would be a lot funnier. Had to deal finish, with go, this. For the, go for the kill. I don't know. You're looking at a setup opportunity. I think you're looking right at it. I don't think a dart is going to be doing very much to this strong neck. Say what you want about Phineas and Fur, but I think they're about to get canceled. I don't know, they were fun on Saturday mornings, but now here we are on Saturday evenings where the true program starts. That Jolteon better be named Ferb. That Jolteon isn't named Ferb, we're going to be asking for Trainer Black to be removed from the league. By which, of course, <laughs> I'm kidding, and for legal purposes, this is a joke. However, you can't just name something Phineas and expect us, you know, not to have something named Ferb. Just waiting now, just... Waiting to see if this Ferrigerap is cursed, as Aiden has foretold. It would be quite funny. The championship rematch determined by a cursed Ferrigerap. 
giving us a whole new meaning. Terrifying. Both coaches taking their time to think it out. We're going to see the darts. It is going to be a two at KO. Is this going to stop? Oh, stomping, stomping tantrum. tantrum. Not as fun. All right. And there's no hesitation. The Jolfian comes out. Keeping in mind, the Dragon Pulp is now dead. Trainer Black is now severely behind. I think some plays are going to have to be made. And the Iron Treads is still decently healthy as well. The item may be gone, but I think it's still probably his access to the Earthquake. This Jolteon can also tear, I believe, into an Ice or a Fairy type. So that is also worth noting. It is Ice and Fairy. I ran Fairy into this matchup, but Ice is definitely viable as well. And I definitely saw Ice in my last mock, but knowing knowing Trainer Black, he, he changes things a lot. We see Terra Ice. We ice see the Calm Mind. Does this do anything? Psychic Fangs. Uh oh, the Psychic Fangs comes out. It's in a clean 56. It, looks to it be still in says range. nothing kills this for a giraffe. Just for Richaraf, take it home. But at the same time, that's also a different set than what I know that this is. For Richaraf. For Richaraf! No, the para. Oh, he breaks through. Oh, for Richaraf, he comes home with two. The luck does not happen. It isn't on to Tottenham's side. Oh, Dr. Seuss, one fish, two fish. Red fish, blue fish. I'm not even sure that's the right order. Red fish, blue fish. Oh my god. Ferrigeroff is swimming. I don't know where I was going with that analogy, but it was gonna sound cool in my head, and then it just vanished. You need to get better at this whole live coming thing. Get better at I references. really do. <laughs> I really do. But that's not the point right now. Right now, we are appreciating the value that the strong neck is giving King Dozo. The championship rematch, 6-3, Trainer Black is behind. He has one win condition, and that is a Snorlax that has revealed Belly Drum. If there is a time to go for it, it would probably be right now. It most definitely would. And this Snorlax needs to get a lot of health back somehow, some way. It's not looking oh, it goes good. goes Rillaboom. Goes Rillaboom. I think your play here is sack the Furry Giraffe. Sunset the sunset the uh sunset the strong neck. Yeah. off, okay. Get rid of the leftovers. We knock out the strong avoided neck. Avoided the six-o. A little bit of recovery. We have avoided the six-o, but I think we are far from out of the woods. This is going to be a slow king or this coming in. I don't know if this takes a, a hit or two here. I think this has a, a shot to Terra. I don't know what its Terra types are, but if it's something that resists grass, you are in luck here. It is fairy and ground, and uh oh, uh, yep, uh -oh. there's the grassy That's glide. Doing a lot of damage. It U turns. Okay, we've let it take an, we've let it take a free glide here. Doing a little bit of chip, going Como into the Como O. o. Possible the Como o could go for setup here. That is perfectly possible. We've already seen that this Rillaboom is grass is a, uh, what's it? Terrain extender. So a dragon dance could come out here if this Rillaboom doesn't have anything like acrobat. I don't even think an acrobatics would do anything. So I think if you are a dragon dance, this is your shot, or if you're scale shot, this could also be your opportunity. I think I think scale shot here could also go very crazy. I think it could if he doesn't call it and goes into the Grim Snarl, but even then it's very risky. Also, we haven't seen the Grim Snarl's other two moves yet. So is it possible that it's play rough or a possibly thunder wave as well? But does Kamo O outspeed is the question. Oh, Kamo O will outspeed. There's no fucking way it doesn't. Exactly. Is, I don't I don't think there's any avenue in which Tottenham wins. I think, wins. The I only think way he can lessen get out the blow. Of this is your thunder wave. Oh, it oh wow. Oh, no. But it goes okay. for U-turn. But it goes for U-turn. It doesn't go for anything that would kill here. Into I the Grim. see the Grim snarl in. I this guess thing needs to go for a reflect. Pick a screen. Pick a screen and pray that your Snorlax can somehow take a hit. And then also, you know, do 50%, you know, less, you know, have enough health to belly jump. And then somehow live the follow up. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. It's just not looking good. 
There is also a play here where you set up Stealth Rocks. If you're Stealth Rock Como, I don't think you are if you have Scale Shot, but it would be very funny. There's also a shot. This also carries the Brick Break if you're terrified of screens, so that is possible too. And Brick Break would kill, I believe, from this range. And it would. I don't think it has it. I think it would be very strange to have both, but it is a possibility. Well, it'd be weird to have three screen That's breakers. Because you have to remember that that Fergarath had Psychic Fangs. That would he, be three He was very breakers. prepared for the screens. and I, So yeah, it wouldn't be perfectly possible, I guess. I don't think it's impossible by any means. The Reflect comes up. Close Combat comes out. This is now at minus two. Can it the Sorlax do anything? It outspeeds anything? everything, though. Can the Sorlax do anything, is the question. Because the close combat, even behind the screen, is going to do a lot. You need to have enough health. Hell, I don't even think you can bring it back from here. I think the game is over. Unless you have, like, you can't do much damage with what you have. Uh, you also have a full health Greninja here. So all you need is this thing in range of Greninja or in range of the Slow King. Mm-hmm. And you can also Psychic Noise to prevent its recovery. So no left, no grassy terrain, no, you know, anything like that. You just need this thing in range. So King doesn't, doesn't have to do much thinking here. He just clicks close combat. Jurner Black right now needs a miracle. A small, a big miracle, not just a small miracle, a big miracle. And the there miracle is, was the not crit. given. That the is crit. a massive critical hit. In the Out game comes the Rillaboom, and the game is, is over. over. Oh, that is not good. That is not good. This definitely lives up to the game of the week hype for week three. And King Dozo says the championship is mine now. A very, very well played 5-0 from King Dozo's side. The Warville Great Tusks, after not being able to schedule, picking up a draw, comes back, wins in amazing fashion. And we will see y'all. Yeah, very, very well played. Was in control the entire time. We will see y'all next week. Take care.